Sheriff's Office says tis the season for scamming and they have been getting an uptick in the reports of people impersonating deputies past and present demanding money so the victim can avoid jail time. News Channel 3's Kimberly Donahue spoke with the office about what to look out for to keep you and your wallet safe. The Canal County Sheriff's Office says they've noticed an unsettling trend in reports to their office. It seems like every couple weeks right now we've been getting spontaneous days where the calls have just really increased, like people calling in over having suspicious calls that they believe are, you know, scams. Sergeant Joshua Lester says scammers have been impersonating deputies within the agency to fool people into thinking they're in serious trouble. We're never going to ask for money. Uh, it seems like the common denominator is that everybody's calling over warrants and they're trying to tell people about these outstanding warrants that they have and they're asking for money to reconcile the warrants. It's very easy for a scammer to have access to deputies' names, so they are actually using legitimate names of our deputies or former deputies. Some of the deputies have been retired that they're using now. Lester says if there is an actual problem, deputies will make an effort to settle the issue with you in person because a matter as serious as a warrant can't just be settled over the phone. If a deputy has an issue or there's a warrant or we need to talk to you about something, we're going to come to your house. We're going to try to locate you and or we're going to make contact with you and give you the opportunity to come meet with us. But regardless, there's still going to be a meeting taking place. We're never going to take any type of funds or transactions through any type of gift cards. You're going to have to go through the court system. So basically, don't ever, you know, turn over any type of funding. Kimberly Donahue, WSAZ News Channel 3, Kanawha County. Now, fortunately, Lester says a lot of people who receive these calls are now catching on to what scammers are up to and they don't turn over their money, but it's still important to report it to the real deputies so they can keep track of the situation. Mm -hmm.